Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, feels like it's been ages since I've done anything, even though it has for me, but not for you guys. Um, my husband has recently purchased one of these for his music. And I thought, well, how about I, um, because it's just plain. And I've been wanting to make some sort of covery thing for him anyway. So I thought I'm going to do some um, collage and cover this for him. So this is something that you can do for, um, you know, just a, it's a, mainly a collage thing that I'll be doing. So um, you're going to have to work along with me and he is using it for his music excuse me i'm just taking this thing off um and all that kind of stuff i'll eventually i've already bought him a songwriter's book so i don't think i'm going to cover the inside i may put some of the collage on the outside so i'm going to just have to do one side at a time i think um this is some of the pictures he picked from his guitar magazines and he really lo liked that one what else did he have they are a little bit on the shiny side he said he liked this sort of you know, that sort of stuff um i like actually like the word vintage might cut out these guitars but there is and you can't really see this one he said he liked the idea of having that with a coffee and so i've actually got a picture of um some books and the coffee that i might even put in there so but my favourite one is probably that, which will be, be the main one that I put on there. Um, I've even got a music stencil, which I may um, use some um, texture paste for. A little bit of stuff. So I might just cut this on a bit of a funny thing is it's, it's an advertisement for the Martin and Co string which I've often used those little um, envelopes to make the string envelopes I've used in my ephemera <laughs> oh my goodness I had to cut my nails because they were getting um, a little bit long and then they get break and then oh so it's a bit harder to pick up stuff these days because this is magazine paper, I'm not ripping as well. And I'll just have to ink the edges. So I may do a like a collage base um, first. Yeah, I like that torn look. Gives it that vintage look. Um, I may just do because I've got some old vintage music and all that kind of stuff where that will lay on top. So, um, you know, and I've got to work around these, so there's probably going to be a fair bit of tearing and um, some really cool scrapbooking paper that I've got. I really love that. I think that probably even might be nice on the back. These are pretty cool. So, um, I like this too. Really like that. Wish it was able to be able to put because it's on that. Wish that was on the other side. I like that make your own kind of music. I could probably put this on the back, maybe, or on the side. I don't know. See, the back's fairly easy to to cover. I could probably put that there. I think that might work. So, and then the old classic cassettes, and we've got this as well, like all sort of music is family and all that kind of stuff. So I may put that one on the back and then do a collage of cassettes and all that kind of stuff, like more that, whereas on the front and the side I may do it in a little bit more of the vintage style, which I think I will do. Okay, I've got, I do have Mod Podge, but I've got PVA glue, which I've mixed with water. This is pretty runny. 
at this point. You're not coming out too fast. Because the hole, I think, is blocked up. Okay. Um, where's my other PVA? Here we go. Oh, look at Oh, jeez. I'm off to a good start. I'm going to add a little bit more PVA in here, I think. Because that's a bit runny. Pretty gross. Okay. There we go. Yeah, that one's a little bit runny. Now, I better grab some of this underneath. And I'm just going to start gluing. the edge fairly big so Let's see how we go sort of thing I will try and tear a little bit vintage paper okay perfect now it's going to go over there like that come on Be a little bit careful when it comes to the edges, I think, because it's sort of like a craft type of paper but doing this over the top is okay sorry about the movement of the of this Usually always goes buckly and then it flattens out once the glue dries. There we go. I'm 
something with collage always looks terrible before it looks better. this over which isn't going to be always that easy None too interesting. You guys watching me. It's like wait, watching paint dry. <laughs> Same with this. Okay, put that over like that. Fold it over. Sorry guys. Okay. That's what I'm just going to do. I'm not going to do anything too much on the inside. Just have like a little bit of a collage. Um, paper on the inside. Okay. Hopefully this will dry okay. Minus bubbles. Now, I've got this um, yeah. okay. this really old paper here, which is Alan's music. I was thinking I might put some of that there. Push it up. tempted to get this little guy but I'm just a bit worried it may wreck it just to get some of the air bubbles out but it's because it's vintage paper I'm just really worried it's going to wreck it should be alright work. Don't count my chickens too just yet. to soak through so that will stick down. There we go. Hopefully that's a little better. Collage is never easy. And you don't want to stuff up. <laughs> Right. Stick 
fist down. I have to be really careful. Stay. Because it is quite old. And I want to get the Allen's Music Melbourne Bendigo Geelong. I just think that it's pretty cool. Actually, I think it needs to be straight. There we go. Even though there is stuff there, that's better. quite a nice it's almost um, avocado dyed colour really so that's quite nice and that's quite old that paper it's from a music old music paper now What I might do, because this is really quite boring for you guys, is I might um, just cover and, you know, cover what I need to cover, let it dry, and then come back when I um, have got, you know, like I'm going to put the, the main bits and pieces on, because it's just a little boring and it's already been 17 minutes, so um, I'll just pause it for a little while. Okay, we're back again. I'm just uh, just going to do the, the front cover for now. Um, I've tore up some pages. I've gotten this from, um, which is called A Dear Diary, and it's by Minte Corolla. There, was it? K-A-R-O. -K there you go, you can see it not too close um, I just cut out a stack of books and a cup of coffee because my husband really liked that picture but it wasn't very clear so I'm thinking of sticking that there um, it's still a little bit on the wet side but we'll just see I wish I could try it a little more I've got um, now, where is that original picture? Got all these little bits that I've cut out as well. And the one that he wanted is this one, which I really like too, because that part here hasn't been done. So if we can stick that just there, and that's from that awesome paper that I got from my friend Faye. Which is really nice it had a bit of that pink and stuff in there which was really cool I quite like that um, this is pretty cool too something I might just stick like that there um, really liked these knobs and buttons here but I really like even though that's cool I really like that I think that looks really cool but we don't want to cover the picks um yes 
hard to know what to do sometimes. Um, like this. Whoa. Maybe put that up a little higher. Do that. A cup of coffee. I still want to do um, some of that, and I may do that on the top there. So that's probably going to go down a bit. Um, don't know where that little. Here it is. Here it is. I do want to put that there, and I think that would probably look rather cute just sitting there. I don't know. Don't know. This is quite a nice one too. Um, well, we've got the guitar up there already. And he really did like those little knobs and buttons. So that may go there. I reckon. I'm going to get, sorry, I'm off camera here. I'm just going to tear that. There we go. Have a bit of a cut along there and I might just put that there. Move this over a tod. I like seeing the treble cliffs, which is good. Then I reckon we could probably put that there, and then I've got a saying, and these still might get put on the back from one of the things which had a bit of a saying on it. Make your own kind of music. I quite like that. Which is just on here, but we've also got um, some of these are quite cool as well. But I do like that. That one. Which I may cut off with a. What? I'm going to use that other part of the back. Okay. There we go. Give it a bit of a, an ink. It's a little bit light at the moment. I have to brown it up a little. Maybe just that okay hmm. I'll probably put something else there what I might do is I'll just start by gluing this baby down what I might do, put that over here like that, and glue over this. See how we go. We've always got to start somewhere, don't we? See how um, it's glossy. Look at that. It's really um, not liking it too much, is it? Hmm. Be interesting to see how that goes. Okay. 
Make sure that they go straight. And hopefully, having this on there will help with the taking away some of the gloss. We'll just have to see, see how it's pulling up a little funny so I don't know how that's gonna go just a look I'm gonna make sure that I get the air bubbles out of the baby just gonna have to let it dry is my best bet okay now this is scrapbooking paper so that'll go down rather well which is good I'm using magazine um, things are okay but because they're from glossy magazines they're not always that great Whoop. so that'll dry nicely now I'll let this one hopefully it'll go okay I'm getting glue everywhere my fingers are full of glue but that's the fun part now just cover that trying to get rid of that look don't really like that And the same thing will probably happen with this as well. Ugh. There we go. Hopefully, I've got some Liquitex matte medium somewhere, I'm hoping that will help with it. There we go, maybe if I get the heat gun or the blow dryer onto it it might might go okay we will see time will tell I don't mind having a few little creases because it gives it that vintage look which I am after in this now I was wanting to put a cup of coffee in that there Which I think will be okay. Oh, I can feel the sun on the back of my legs. Feels really nice. Okay. Beautiful um, autumn day today. Okay. I've got a window behind me where I sit and if I leave that open that nice sunshine comes in. Okay. 
Okay. Even though I'm standing up at the moment. Okay. Did not want to cover those picks up too much. You guys can't see them properly, but once it dries, I think it'll be okay. Okay. Make sure the cup's straight. That's the only thing. It's not flat on the bottom, so it's sort of make your own picture. Oh, I really don't like the way it looks like that. I'm wondering if I can do anything with a wipe. Sometimes it's just a little bit trial and error. Oh, good Lord. I think sometimes the old fingers are the best trick to get bubbles and stuff out. There we go. Yep. Well, I might just set the blow dryer onto that. And I'll be back. Back again. Got my modelling paste out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that along there. And I might even just add a bit of texture here and there. And then I'm like, maybe put that there. I'll see. I've just got to see with that. I definitely want it there. But, um... Maybe along here. Yeah, I think that works there. I'll put that there for now. I have done a bit of blow drying on it. So it looks pretty cool. that off there I don't want it on there but I need it on there okay now we'll just let that sit there for now so this is just normal texture paste and a stencil that I am going to put on here and hopefully it'll work okay hopefully it's not going to move on me um, too much. Actually, what I might do? No, too high. There we go. Just something just to give it a bit of stability, so it's not going to move on me too much. That's it. So we want that just there. just a, a vintage butter knife and we hope to goodness that that is going to work okay
cool. Ugh, a bit gloopy on the old treble clef. Don't like that. I'm going to have to see if we can fix that up a bit. Ooh. It's not too bad. What I'd like to do is just add little bits of texture paste on the edges and whatnot. element sort of almost having like having um gesso or something like that I wouldn't mind having it in some of the pieces here. Sometimes you've just got to go to your fingers and make sure that you don't get it on the bits that you don't want it on. There we go. Um, I just hope this is not too artsy for my husband, but you know, he is creative. is maybe put some gesso rather than the texture paste because it is a bit more 3d the texture paste so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I have to let that dry and I could probably go over it with a bit of um, sure maybe just let it dry I'll let it dry with a blow dryer and then I might go over it with a bit of uh, ink or something and just sponge it up a little um yeah that'll be cool okay I'll be back okay back again I've let this dry now I'm getting my distress oxide it's a walnut stain and I thought I'll just test it in this corner first and just gonna go over it I really want to grunge it up a bit because I think the light is too white. Uh. <gasps> oh no, I haven't dried it enough. Well, I better wait for that to dry on the top because this is a little bit lighter. It, um, it dries a little bit quicker whereas this is a lot thicker and I've just wrecked the treble cliff are you serious oh well I'm just gonna have to take that off a little bit and let that dry there we go so that's what I'm gonna do 
then I think we are done I'll wait until that's dry I might go over it with a blow dryer a little bit more and um, this is my grungy um, music cover for my husband I think he would like it I think it's pretty cool okay guys a bit long I know but um, I was just having a bit of fun and just do do something different I was gonna make it anyway for him so um, so in the photos it'll have that done a little bit darker and a bit more edged still got the back and everything to do but that will take a long time so the front's all you get <laughs> okay thanks guys for watching and um, also th big thank you to all my new subbies I'm now up to two and a half thousand which I was wanting to do a giveaway it is a little bit hard my I was gonna do give have this as a giveaway because I've made one for me and then I've got this extra one which I made so um, I'll do that in the short future okay thanks for watching guys bye